Only 30 miles from Tokyo's hectic streets, the parishioners of Noninji Temple gather on a day the ancient Buddhist almanac declares to be auspicious. After a ceremony of benediction in which prayers are offered that their temple's new bell will bring them happiness, its maker, Masaiko Katori, rings the bell, symbolically giving it to the temple. The bell, like all those of Katori's creation, was forged in Takaoka, a busy industrial city that is the home of Japan's largest foundry for handmade metal works. Mr. Katori says, each bell has its own spirit, its own personality. Working from his original design, he carved scenes from the life of Buddha into a section of the mold from which a new bell will be cast. These sections of outer mold are formed of clay, encased in iron shells, and eventually joined together. Then, they are lowered over the inner mold. Bronze for the bell will be poured between inner and outer molds. Priests from the temple that has commissioned it are here to pray for the creation of a bell whose sound will bring peace of mind to the listener. Offerings of flowers and persimmons, sake and squid are made to Buddha, and a paper prayer acknowledges the Shinto deities of the forge. Copper plates bearing the names of parishioners who have made donations and prayers written on paper are added to become part of the <laughs> Mr. Katori says, part of the spirit of the bell is the wishes and prayers that the people who make it put into it. the bell must cool for 12 hours before it can be determined if the casting has been successful. Katori must wait. In early morning, he returns to the forge. By tradition, the bell will be rung only once to test it before it is hung at the temple that commissioned it. But first, clinging bits of clay are removed. Mr. Katori says, the most difficult thing in the creation of a bell is finding the right form. 
His experience is that a beautiful shape gives a beautiful tone. Sound of the bell, the voice of Buddha. This is Mr. Katori's 96th bell. Others ring out from Japan's most revered temples, foreign lands, and Hiroshima, where the peace bell was his personal gift to the city and the world. The voices of his bells carry his hopes for peace over the earth. <laughs> 